welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Ayutthaya. And what we're going to take a look at is Wat Chao Prom, which I think is translated into like the Lord Creator or the Lord Brahma. This is an early Ayutthaya temple that's built over here in kind of the uh, Pratu Chai area of the former capital. It's in the southwest corner. And it's a small little ruin, and there's not a whole lot known about it, but we're going to take a look at it and uh, see what it looks like today. So this is the whole ruin. And uh, it's just kind of over here. There used to be a moat, and then there used to be a clong that went right down here. And what's interesting is, I didn't know about it, is there used to be a wooden bridge right over here. And the Fine Arts Department found it in 2017 when they were excavating over here. So this is the former Klong, and this went down to the Chao Praia River from, or uh, not the Chao Praia, but to the Royal Palace. It came from the Chao Praia River, which is to the south. And now there's just a couple roads here, and then this little Klong. And uh, part of the Grandmother's Park is over here. This is kind of in the southwest corner of it. I think right over here is where they found the old wooden pillars of it. It was the Span Kun Lok, or the Kun Lok Bridge. And you can see the little canal and stuff like here. This is the Klong Chakrai Yai right over there. And in the old records, there used to be like a market over here. And uh, it had the same name. And that, like the name of that bridge translates literally to ruler of the world. Okay, so let's look into the little uh, ruin here. You see here, there's not a whole lot left. This was in really terrible condition before the Fine Arts Department came over here and restored this site. Now, it, I believe it was originally built Hindu, and then they converted it into Buddhism. This was an early Ayutthaya era temple. This was built somewhere between like 1351 or so up till the early 1400s and they say that they connected the little prong right there to this Weehan in the late Ayutthaya period so in like the 1700s so this was in use for quite a while and now it's just kind of out here there would have been a moat that would have surrounded it completely and the moat is on three sides you got to come across a little tiny bridge to get over here to it it's kind of out of the way. You don't really know how to get over here. But you can see it from the road pretty easy. And there's not much of the base. This was a Weehan. And then right here would have been a pedestal for an image. And then it would have had what they call the glass wall right here. This would have surrounded the little prong and the Weehan. And I don't know if there was an Ubisote here. And I'm not sure what these bases are either. There was just not a whole lot left of this after it kind of was abandoned during the fall and uh, just left out here for nature to take over. Yeah, really a cool little prong though. That's the definitely the highlight of this. It has the redented corners, then it has the little notches right here for the images and you can see a little bit of the plaster work that's left up there and you can see the lotus bud shape so it would have had definitely the Khmer influence in it. And it would have had all the places up there for all the little images and stuff all the way up to the top. And a couple little trees are growing up there now. Yeah, and these are the bases for something. I'm not sure what was built here. It's a little bit different. It's kind of really narrow, so it might have been, you know, just like the little walkway, the little cloister around this prong but I don't know it doesn't uh, doesn't look like that either with these little holes here I don't think they really knew exactly what was here whenever they tried to restore this and there is a little bit of rubble and stuff like that you see when you walk through this grass you can see the old brick fragments and stuff like that so everything had like collapsed these bricks had weathered and broke apart and uh, they just haven't done anything because there's not much to do out here but uh, let's look inside this thing here. It's kind of cool. I do like the styling of it. I like that a lot. So this is the prong right here. And so there would have been the standing Buddha images 
in these little notches right here. And then this would have been connected to the prong to that wee hand back in the late Ayutthaya era. Yeah, you can see what's left of the, the base here of all of this stuff. Yeah, they use those really small thin bricks on this. If it was late Ayutthaya, I'm surprised we don't see any laterite stone and stuff like that. And you can see it's kind of a corbelled arch right there above the door. Yeah, really cool. And a little bit of the plaster work is still remaining here. And then inside, the locals have came over and uh, put like a little shrine and stuff like that. You can see some bird feathers. And you can see up here how this was restored. They put concrete right there. And you can see they use that wood for forms and they never took that off. So it's just kind of collapsing down. Now it's really, really musty in here. And you can look up into it. It's a little dark, but that's what the prong looks like. It's hollow. And then they just use those thin little bricks all through here. Yeah, really cool. And then you got a little bit, oh, this is interesting. So you got some of the little stucco work here. And some of the, the old, old, old pieces of the pediment and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and there is some laterite stone. So you do have some of that right here. So there would have probably been a lot more of this whenever this was built. And you see some of that old stucco work here. And then you can see another little piece that they put into their little shrine. So the locals leave the flowers and the cigars and everything else here for them. So those pieces of plaster would have been around those little arches right up there. And those other things would have been kind of out as like little pediment pieces out here on those little notches. But that's pretty much the whole temple here. As you can see, there's just not much to, to see. This would have been nice to see back whenever it was in use, but uh, you know, it is what it is. The city fell and uh, everything burned and was abandoned. And people looted these, they took bricks away. They did all this stuff. Now to get over here, that's how you gotta come. You gotta come down that little trail. And that's how I came today, right there on my motorcycle. And that's over there is part of the moat. And the moat used to go all the way around and they filled it in just to get over here to access this temple. Well, that'll finish up a really quick little video over here at this Wat Jiao Pram. This is a nice little site. It's uh, one that people pass by, but nobody really comes over here and looks at it. I thought I'd come over here and take a look at it today. It's just kind of cool. I like uh, these old temples, and when you're walking around these, there's nobody here. It's just you climbing on these bricks and looking, and you get to see everything. And it's what I enjoy. So if you enjoy this video, smash the like button. If you have any questions or comments, ask me down below. If you know anything more about this, I've seen a few Thai videos on this, but it's you know all in Thai, so I can't really get a whole lot of information out of it. So if some of my Thai viewers know knows more about this temple, about the construction or anything like that, let me know, please, in a comment down below. Others would like to read and learn a little bit more about it as well. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and then you get to see more videos of this that, that I do, just things that interest me. So anyway, until next time, from over here in Ayutthaya, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Mm -hmm.